Hello, hello everyone, welcome back to another Fallout 76 guide and today I'm going to show you how can you easily do the Possum Photographer Challenge. Are you ready? Hey, so as you probably know, the Pioneer Scouts faction is out. You can now get a new backpack, but to get the mods, you need to do a lot of grinding, aka you need to do the possum challenges in the world section. And that can be a bit bothersome and time consuming. So I'm going to start a series with, well, how can you do a certain challenges? And this one is going to be about the photographer one. I'm going to show you every single step that you need to accomplish this one. But before we start, you need to do the mission bucket list. That's the only way to get your camera. And you also should check my guide on how to easily craft camera film because you're going to need quite a lot of it and you might not know the locations that you need to farm and craft camera film so i think that will help you out i'm putting the links up there and in the description as well in case you need them and one more thing i think you really should use a travel agent the perk because you will need to travel around quite often and it's expensive also use fallout 76 as a free uh, teleport point that's my two biggest advices for this challenge so let's get started so let me introduce you a little bit to this challenge. There are 16 tasks to do and most of them require you to actually take a picture of something like a location or a, an object, a creature or well pretty much explore and take a picture of something which is self-explanatory since the challenge is for a photographer. If you have your camera and you like to take a challenge, then just go ahead and do this because I think it's probably the easiest possum challenge there is to do right now. And it was my very first one that I completed and I'm doing others right now and some are bugged, others are extremely complicated and yes so if you're starting go for a photographer and you shouldn't have much of an issue apart from one or two points but as i said i'm going to guide you through this and you should have no issues doing this at all excluding the exam which i will do always in last place modding your camera is the first step and for these, again, you need to do bucket list, the mission, because when you finish the mission, you can access these lenses. If you have it equipped already, then just, you know, go to standard lenses, switch it uh, to the other one, and the point should be pretty much done. Just switch it over then to your uh, 150 millimeter lenses if you are into zoom, but this is a very straightforward one. The second point is about crafting a 50 camera film and you need to farm adhesive silver, crystal and a plastic. So as I mentioned before, feel free to check my guide on how to craft tons of camera film. And this is a useful point because we're going to need it, you know, we're going to take a lot of pictures. So crafting film beforehand is a great thing. So don't feel like you're going to waste materials into nothing because it's not really the case. You're going to need the film to take pictures to complete this challenge. Just don't forget to equip your super duper perk for a free goodies. So let's start with the picturing around. And as you probably noticed, I'm following the order in the challenge. And we need to go to the Charleston Capitol building. And in here, it won't uh, count unless you go really close to the building. So as you can see, I tried here from the top, the roof of the building. And the name of the building wasn't popping at all. So you need to come here, wait a little, and then there's a very specific angle for it to trigger so be careful when you come here because it might seem bugged but it's not you just need to get the right angle of the building 
Taking a picture of the Grafton Dam should be very easy. All you have to do is, of course, go there. And as soon as you fast travel, you will be on top of the dam. And then you have to head to your left side because, you know, the right doesn't really seem to trigger much. I tried several things and the name wasn't really popping. But since the usual rule is to get close enough, I just went down these rocks, as you should as well, and then I simply aimed at the main uh, dam wall, and that's it. Take a picture when the name pops and it should be set. The New River George Bridge is a pain in the ass, so this part took me a fair amount of time because the bridge is quite long and big and tall and everything and I tried almost every single angle you can think of so the sides, the top, the front, the plates, on top, from the bottom every single thing I could think of and nope, the name didn't pop anywhere I even asked a few people and no one really knew so I was assuming at this point that it was bugged and this was just another challenge that you couldn't finish until I got here to the very bottom of the bridge. And as you can see, the name appeared. So again, you need to be a very, very close to the specific trigger of the location. And for the bridge is the very base, this bottom part here. And even when you are close, it's quite buggy. It doesn't always show. It's only here when it was in this range, like very close range and yeah it's not bugged so don't despair if you are stuck in this part that's the solution another very easy task is to take a picture of the top of the world simply head there and from the auto travel spawn you can pretty much get close just a tiny bit and then aim your camera at the dome and there you go all you have to do is shoot and the task is completed number seven can be very easy or quite difficult to do depending on your luck so if you see this event collision course just head there because a cargo boat will always spawn at the end of the event. You can also use a government requisition to call a cargo boat, or you might want to go to the Watauga or the Maya region, and you might find a cargo boat around. It's quite common in these two regions, but the most assured one is through this event, and you just want to take a picture. So come by. Get what you need and move along. Another very straightforward task is to take a picture of a scorched beast. Now I headed to uh, this fissure here near the prime fissure and there are always scorched beasts around. Now the trick here is to get close to them because they take their time to land. There are also a lot of scorched around so you will have free action but once they land just take the picture and yeah either kill it or run away because they can do a lot of damage to you another slightly easy one is to take a picture of a vertibot you will have to farm some materials but you can head to the grafton steel or even to the ammunition workshop and then once you claim the workshop, you need to repair the vertibog landing pod. So in Grafton is right here. Then when you repair it, just take a picture and that's pretty much what you have to do. For the Wendigo picture, I suggest you to head to the Wendigo cave. And as the name says, there is always a Wendigo here at the very end of the tunnels. So just go straight forward until you find this sort of waterfall and pile of junk and there's where the wendigo will spawn and there he is just take a picture of him or kill him and then take a picture the decision is yours 
Now, taking a picture when it's foggy is probably very easy because I did it without even knowing I was doing it. Anyway, if you see these clouds, it is mist, just take a picture of anything you want and it will pretty much count as task done. The same logic applies to taking a picture while it's raining. So whenever you see the rain falling off the sky, take a picture of the beautiful forest or the mountains, the sea, the river, your house, it doesn't matter. Just take a picture and you're set. It's also the same for the sunrise and the sunset, except for the sunrise, you will hear the birds. So that's one of the ways to know it's a sunrise. And of course, it will gradually become lighter and lighter. So make sure not to miss this gorgeous moment where the clouds are pink, orange, red. It's beautiful. And you only have to take a picture of the sky if you want. It doesn't really matter, really. In order to take a picture of the sunset, you need to kind of look at the sun, you know, when it's almost there, hiding behind the mountains. Just shoot at it and it should count as task done. At least it did for me. And you can also enjoy the sunset, you know, it's quite pretty. Until this challenge, I had never really noticed that there is a beautiful sunset and sunrise in this game. So that's a plus. Taking a picture at night is probably the easiest thing you can do in this challenge. Literally, it's night, take a picture, that's it. <laughs> I also did this one without knowing it was for the challenge, so there you go. As you can see, things are pretty straightforward and easy, or fairly easy to do. Now, the last thing we need to do is the exam, and we need to either head to Camp Adams or to the Pioneer Scout Camp, and then take the Photographer Possum exam. Now, if you don't know the answers, please use Google to cheat yes i'm telling you to cheat because it will save you a lot of time and it's probably not a nice experience if you fail the exam 20 times because you have no idea about how uh you know the old photography uh things procedures and so on used to work so whenever you don't know just cheat and save yourself some despair i would say and once you do the challenge, and if you have done everything already, you will complete it and you will get one possum badge, which you can collect to get, well, possum stuff, which includes backpack mods. And that's pretty much everything you need to do to complete this challenge. Did it even feel like 16 tasks? I don't think so. It was way too easy in my opinion, but that's great because it balances things out. There are really difficult and complicated ones to do. Anyway, that's going to be everything for this guide. If you are new to the channel and if you enjoyed the content, then don't forget to subscribe for more. And if you have any question or doubt, let me know in the comment section below. Also, if you'd like to support me, feel free to check my new a Patreon page and you can probably do it for just one dollar. It means a lot to me and, well, it keeps the channel going. I am Marta Branco, thank you so much for watching and as usual, I will see you very soon in the next video. Bye bye!